Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's quite disgraceful that we still have to come back here nine months after Israel started murdering people indiscriminately in Gaza. It's also disgraceful that our governments, all the governments of Europe, including the Irish government, have not taken any effective action to put pressure on Israel to stop this killing. Most of you probably know that a recent Lancet report said that up to 186,000 or more deaths in Gaza since last October can be attributed to what Israel is doing. It's genocide. Now, what's also disgraceful is that the Irish government is allowing Israel's largest weapons supplier, the US, to take military planes and military personnel through Shannon Airport on the other side of this country. It's shameful, isn't it? Since October 7th, the Biden administration has sent Israel at least, this number is staggering, at least 14,000 2,000 pound bombs. Just one of those bombs will severely harm or kill everybody within a 35 meter blast radius. In Gaza, that's a lot of deaths. And 14,000 of those bombs have been sent over by the US. The shipments from the US have also included things like precision guided munitions, small diameter bombs, bunker busting rockets, other lethal weapons as well. They've sent at least $14.5 billion worth of military aid to Israel since last October. According to some reports, there were so many arms shipments going at one stage that the US Department of Defense struggled to find enough cargo aircraft to deliver them. Can you imagine? They were sending weapons, lethal weapons, at such a rate that they couldn't quite deliver them as fast as they wanted to. What we know is that the, the US have also sent warships and military aircraft into the Eastern Mediterranean. The troops that are going onto those warships may be coming through Shannon Airport. The people arranging the arms deals with Israel may be coming through Shannon Airport, probably are coming through Shannon Airport. Weapons parts may be coming through Shannon Airport, may also be coming through Irish airspace because we have almost daily US military, military contacted flights coming through. Just last week, we recorded a US Air Force C-40 that traveled through Shannon from the US over to Tel Aviv and Israel and back again. So there is complicity. Shannon is involved in supporting the genocide. And we must remember that all the US military flights through Shannon, including those flights to Israel, are approved by the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Michal Martin. There are other military flights as well, or military contracted flights, they're called, because these are civilian aircraft operated by companies like Omni Air International. And these are approved by the Minister for Transport, Eamon Ryan. He granted 150 permits since the start of this year for weapons to be taken through Shannon Airport. He approved 230 more permits to take weapons through Irish airspace. Military flights, military contracted flights cannot come through Shannon without ministerial approval. Every single one of them is approved by either Michal Martin or Eamon Ryan. Now, 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 of course, Minister Eamon Ryan says that no applications have been received, he says, to permit the carriage of munitions of war on civilian aircraft flying to a point in Israel. But he can't know what's coming through Shannon Airport because the authorities don't inspect the planes. Never. They never inspect the planes. They don't ask about the final destinations. They don't ask where the troops are going that come through Shannon. So, I and Shannon Watch fully support calls to impose a comprehensive arms embargo on Israel and, of course, to impose full diplomatic, 
economic, financial sanctions on them as well. But right now, there is a necessary, there's an obvious way for Ireland to stop aiding and abetting Israel's genocide in Gaza. It's to stop granting permits to US military flights to come through Shannon and through Irish airspace. It, it should be easy for our government, for our ministers to do that, but they won't do it. But given that there appear to be no red lines for the US when it comes to supporting Israel, and nothing that Israel does is too barbaric for the US to continue to support, to continue to supply weapons to do, we should not be allowing these flights. None of them, no US military flights or military contracted flights should be coming through Shannon or through Irish airspace. The government is intentionally turning a blind eye to what's coming through, and it's absolutely unacceptable. So, to finish, to finish, I just want to give a shout out to people who are maintaining weekly, weekend protests at Shannon now, from 6 a.m. every morning until 3 p.m. every Saturday, every Sunday, right as we gather here. There are, people, there are people maintaining the protest. There are people keeping the torch lit at Shannon in solidarity with the people of Gaza. And we say thanks to them for doing that. We have a Shannon Watch gathering, a vigil, a peace vigil on the second Sunday of every month at 2 p.m. I encourage you all to get to those if you can until we get the US military out of Shannon. And if you want to get involved, if you want to join the weekend protests at any stage for an hour, for two, for three hours, look at our website, shannonwatch.org, send us a message and we'll connect you up. Thank you.